everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at something cool made of silver or gold. Now today we're featuring two coins, a one and two ounce version of the Cyberpunk Silver Coins. These are made by the Mint of Gdansk and they have very generously sent me these coins to keep and showcase here on the channel. So in openness and true transparency, I do get to keep them, but that is in no way a quid pro quo. I'm here to present what I see and how I see it. And if you then like it, you can make your own decisions to go and buy. There are no affiliate bonus codes. There is a link to the Mint of Gdansk's website and you can see that listing of the, uh, these coins over on their website. But they are available as well from lots of other different dealers all around the world. So if you're not in Europe, you might be able to find these coins from somewhere else. So a big thank you to the Mint of Gdansk for sponsoring our channel. We've actually got another very cool coin to show over the weekend, a Witcher version, and the good old Rosalka as well, which is something we've already featured, but more on those another time. Let's have a look at the Cyberpunk Silver Round. So this is a new series from the Mint of Gdansk, and it is, uh, this particular one here, the one ounce, is a mintage of 10,000. So we're sitting comfortably within the low mintage range of a premium bullion coin. It's made to a BU standard rather than to proof or anything like that, but you wouldn't know it to look at it. It's a very, very well-made coin, very, very elegant. I'm just going to flip the capsule top off so we can have a look outside the capsule because it really does start to come alive and sing beautifully when you take that capsule lid off. It is absolutely stunning. So, Cyberpunk, of course, uh, I am not personally familiar with the game, for example, Cyberpunk, but it is a whole genre, of course, talking about a sort of semi-dystopian future of mankind living in a very high technologically advanced world with AI and uh, computers and all of that techno wizardry. Um, not something I am familiar with in terms of that genre, but it's still something that's quite relevant in today's world. Goodness me, we are marching ever closer to that kind of thing as we go throughout every month, it seems. So interesting theme and certainly will be interesting to see how they develop the series. The series itself is called The Punk Universe, which I think is really very cool. So uh, this is actually not out yet. I should also point that out. So I'm reading on the Mint of Gdansk website that it is available from the 15th of September. So in about six weeks time, I would think um, we'll be able to get those. So the beautiful thing about this as well is if we just flip over the big one, we'll have a look at the two ounce outside the capsule in just a moment. It's got um, the design on both sides, which I really like. And that is something that most mints around the world make a big mistake with, in my opinion. Um, there's a little trick here that I think that they might have been able to employ. So it was something that the Germania Mint did, and you know, okay, it's like a little bit derivative if you maybe go and sort of slightly copy that. But what I think would have really elevated this coin would have been to see a slightly more zoomed out look of this reverse um, on the other side of the coin. As it is, it is just a shrunk down version for the one ounce compared to the two ounce. Still really cool, and you know, it's really nice to sort of skyline feature there. I like the geometry of all of the buildings, I like the light play of the different angles of the buildings as well. Centered around that seal, the public seal of Nui. Uh, one dollars of course, one dollar of course. This is the one ounce silver here and you can see four nines fine silver. So that's pretty cool. I do like that background. Let's though have a look at the two ounce version out of the capsule because this one really is pretty stunning. And I must congratulate the um, Mint of Gdansk on the quality of these coins. Not only is the uh, the actual finish quality really good, the contrast between the uh, the raised areas, and they really are quite raised. If you, I don't know if the camera is really going to do it justice, but that uh, little you can see it's really got some major high relief going on for a BU coin. That is pretty cool, and not something that you see every day. It really does add, uh, add sorry, this element of sort of 3D nature to. Um, the actual coin and the design itself, which is great. I like the contrast between uh, the cyberpunk gentleman's, I don't, I don't know this genre, sorry, the cyberpunk gentleman's head uh, and his um, outfit that he's wearing. Um, that looks really cool. I like that. There's a bit of drama to it with the scars across the eyes there and the nose. It is good. It's like he's looking out, surveying uh, the city. Or maybe somebody's watching it. Maybe that big brother is looking out over him. Um, it does look pretty cool. And I have to say, this is one of the better genres, even though I'm not a fan of the genre in the sense, I mean, there's it's nothing wrong with the genre. I'm not saying I'm not a fan of it, but I haven't played the games, for example. I haven't really read the comics, things like that. But this does have a bit of a cult following in terms of the 
um, you know, the genre, it's very, very popular. This could do very well as a coin. Uh, now, in terms of price points, let's talk about that. So this, as I said, uh, is sitting very firmly in that premium bullion range. Uh, one thing I haven't actually said as well is the mintage on the two ounce is 3,000, so really tiny mintage. Now, what you might expect is this to have a very, very high premium on top of it, but in fact, it's 73 euros 89, and that is pretty low premium for something that is 3,000 mintage with beautiful design and exquisite finish. Um, the one ounce version is approximately half of the price of the two ounce version, as you would expect, as it's one ounce instead of two ounces, sitting around the 35, 36 uh, euros per ounce mark. So they are premium, like, don't get me wrong, there are other coins out there in this world that are cheaper that you can buy, but certainly if this is a genre that's interesting to you and something that you want to get, it's not going to break the bank like a proof coin would. It's not going to break the bank like you see some of these other gold gilded design coins or antiqued high relief and you're getting a lot for your money I feel with this particular coin, the two ounce here. Really stunning, really very well done indeed. And sitting at that price point as I said of 70, 73 euros 89 as I'm looking right now, um, I don't know if that includes the VAT, we'll have to have a look. I'm just having a look on the quick website whilst I'm in the background, seeing if I can keep the coin in focus. Um, I believe that is including the VAT from what I'm reading. I could be wrong. Uh, if I am, then there's a little bit more to add on it, but it's a really good price point for a coin that looks this good. And we don't often see these bullion coins in the two ounce form. So I congratulate the Mint of Gdansk for, for sort of pushing the boundaries a little bit and having something that size. It's not something that you see every day on these types of coins. It's usually just the one ounce versions at 10, 15, 50,000 mintage, whatever it might be. Um, so all in all, I'd say this is a really kind of interesting and good offering um, into the, I'm just gonna put the capsule lid on this one before I drop it. Um, you know, it's a good offering into a brand new series. I think this is interesting. It's certainly something that could be quite popular, I think, generally. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. It'd be great to hear what you think about these particular coins, the designs, the desirability. Are you going to get one when they come out? Are you rushing off to look at your favorite collectible silver coin dealer right now to see whether or not they have them in stock? I think these will do very well, personally. No guarantee, of course, and that's not financial advice. If you're interested, there is all the information on the Mint of Gdansk's website. That's really hard to say, Mint of Gdansk's. Um, anyway, it's on the description box below. You can find a link to their website. Uh, as I said, they will probably be available from lots of other dealers out there in the world as well. So go and check them out if interested. Thank you very much to the Mint of Gdansk for uh, supporting our channel and sponsoring our video. If you want to see the video coming out on Sunday showing the Witcher coin, then make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the alarm bell. Otherwise, that's it from me. Thanks to my ramblers for listening to the end of the video. It's great to see you down in that comment section if you want to say hello, and we'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.